<laughs> hey guys, it's Audrey Steeman again, and welcome to part 5, I guess kind of a 5.1 of the 2D, 3D animation series. And this is 5.1 because I initially started throwing all of the uh, animation parts together with the background stuff, the hand uh, animating, and then like the 3D, and then like the 3D part, and it's long. <laughs> so. I am not going to bore you with a 20 to 30 minute episode of just animating this stuff. I'm going to kind of break it into smaller chunks here. Um, so in this episode is just focusing on the background elements with the oranges and the leaves and everything. And really with this background animation, I'm applying just a couple of animation after effects principles um, that I just end up using across the board for all the background stuff. So it really is just kind of rinse and repeat. So without further ado, here is the process for the background animation in After Effects. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hide the glass for now because I think um, starting to animate the, the background elements, which are gonna be super um, subtle and easy, uh, I think we just tackle that first. So I'm gonna go into the oranges pre-comp and obviously we didn't organize anything further from here. We just kind of threw everything into this pre-comp. So here I'm actually gonna probably make some, some further pre-comps with um, each of the leaves and their own stem, just so uh, when I use the, the CC bend it effect, it'll just affect um, its entirety and I won't have to kind of individually animate the, the leaves outside of the stem, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm just gonna pre-comp these all real quick. Now I think I'm going to go into each of the pre-comps and especially with ones that have a little bit of uh, petals to it or just something else that can move, I'm going to move these individually first. So I'm going to set all of the anchor points um, to the center here so it's fully attaching to that stem. And I think I'm just going to add a, a slight wiggle effect to each of the rotation properties and, and make sure that it loops. So here I added this um, special set of code or expression language here um, that essentially is saying that with this wiggle expression, it's going to loop. No matter what comp size it is, I think that's part of the variables here is saying this comp duration. Um, so I'll be sure to put this in the description. It's super helpful. Um, it's great to just cut out so much of the work with having a random kind of animation that's super subtle, um, just literally using an expression. Um, so I applied this to all of the other petals here and they're all pretty randomized, uh, which is great. Um, and so obviously there's no bend effect here yet. Um, we're going to do that to the entire comp so that the petals are taken with it and it's not just the stem. So here in the main oranges um, design comp here, so we can see that um, it's animating on its own, um, but we want it to do a little bit more. So I'm going to add the CC bend it effect. And then you can kind of see that there's two dots here. Uh, one's gonna be for the base, and then one's gonna be over here. Um, kind of, you want kind of want to extend it past um, whatever is bending, uh, just so it kind of keeps all of the design um, and depending on like how much you want it to bend to. Uh, so just as a fail safe, I usually go a little bit outside of the that design there. And so from here, you can literally see that it's <laughs> waving at you. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, works super easy and the stem is very um, grounded to this main one here, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so now we're gonna kind of set the parameters um, of how much we want it to bend and, uh, and hopefully make it loop. So I think, so I'm gonna make a keyframe here, for this initial one, and nine is way too much. I think I'm gonna do like negative three to start, and then to mirror that, I'm gonna go to like the one second mark and then do a positive three keyframe. So it goes from one end to the other, but it doesn't loop and it's very linear. We want that to have a little more ease to it. So we're gonna easy ease that. And then we're going to alt click the stopwatch for the bend it effect and say loop out. And in quotations, ping pong. 
so that once it ends at this point, it'll reverse back and go to this point. So let's play that real quick. Pretty good. Yeah, so it looks like it's just waving in the wind, which is super nice. Now I'm not totally sure yet if this is too fast or too much, but maybe I make it out to like the two second mark just to see if that's a little bit better. I kind of like that better. Um, and luckily too, it should loop. Yep, that's perfect. So literally we're just gonna apply the same principles here to the other like little mini stems and then eventually the bigger one. Um, but we'll wanna make sure that we parent everything to that main stem before we do that. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of fast forward here and literally just apply the same things that I just did to this first stem where I'll animate um, any little kind of secondary design it has going on on its own and then I'll apply the bend effect to it. So here with this uh, with this new stem, I'm gonna I'm gonna take its anchor point here and make sure that it's at the the end of that stem there because that's where it's coming from. And then I'll just apply a little bit of wiggle to it. And luckily I have the um, the expression still copied, so it should be able to just kind of do its thing. I want it to do a little bit more um, so that it's noticeable. Let's see if that'll do anything. Just kind of bouncing. Kind of like that. It's subtle. Um, so now we're going to go back and apply the bend it effect to that. So you want to make sure that the, the points are exactly where they need to be or else you're not going to see the effect you want. So I'll start at the first keyframe. Maybe I start with a positive three and then a negative two maybe. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Easy ease those. And then we'll tell it to loop. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And I'll just do the same for the rest of the pieces here. Something else I'm gonna do too, um, especially because we have some secondary stems coming off of main ones, um, and when the bend it effect is gonna be applied, it's gonna be a little tougher to completely match the movement of that secondary stem to the main one. Um, and we don't have to like do all the keyframes and trying to match the movement and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to take this, this mini stem here, for example, I'll copy that, but then in the stem three, I'll paste that. Um, so that when we apply the bended effect to stem three, it'll apply that to everything. Um, so we don't have to worry about the movement of him as much. So here we've got our basic animation for the the oranges and the leaves and everything and uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I think the next step is to kind of start animating the hand a little bit and, uh, and hopefully we can kind of match the glass to go along with that as well. So thank you guys for watching this little uh, 5.1 part of the series here. In the next one, I'll be covering more in depth of animating the hand, which is honestly kind of the most tricky part of this entire animation. And I'm hoping to get that one out soon because this one kind of came a little later than expected. Also, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ball of Odd. Oddball was taken, so this was kind of the, the next best username that I could steal.
Be sure to like and subscribe and do all the youtube -y things that people tell you to do. It helps me know what kind of videos you guys are looking for, um, what would be more helpful to see in the future, stuff like that. So I love knowing. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time.